in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you ever feeling down and like you have nowhere to go. You are listening to the good night message with your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a selection of Don Bosco, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifico University, Rome, Italy, with an encouraging and strengthening message entitled, May God Answer You in His Great Mercy. This good night message is based on the responsorial psalm that we had in today's word. In times of great distress and overwhelming challenges, Psalm 69 verse 14 serves as a profound reminder of God's unfailing love and mercy. The psalmist cries out, Rescue me from the mere, do not let me sink, deliver me from those who hate me, from the deep waters. This verse encapsulates a plea for divine intervention and reassurance, highlighting that in our deepest sorrows, we can trust and hope in God's immense compassion. Just as the psalmist sought refuge, we too can find solace, knowing that God's mercy is vast and encompassing, ready to uplift us from our trials. Throughout scriptures, numerous accounts of God's mercy can be found, illustrating his consistent and loving nature. He demonstrates his mercy when he delivered the Israelites from bondage, opened the eyes of the blind, and offered redemption through Jesus Christ. Such instances are a testament to his unwavering commitment to his people. They bolster our faith recognizing that the same God who acted in ages past will indeed act on our behalf today. In our own lives, reflecting on God's past mercies can be a powerful source of encouragement. When we recall the moments He has saved, healed, and provided for us, we strengthen our trust in His ongoing presence and capability to deliver us from present adversities. Even in times of uncertainty, anchoring our souls in the remembrance of his past deeds can cultivate a heart of gratitude and hope. His mercies are new every morning. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 23 affirming that each day brings a fresh opportunity to witness God's loving intervention. Moreover, the community of believers plays an essential role in echoing this message of hope. As brothers and sisters in Christ, we share each other's burdens and offer support, making God's love tangible. Our collective prayers, encouragement, and acts of kindness embody the mercy of God, fortifying each other's faith. We become instruments through which His love and mercy flow, uplifting one another in moments of distress. So let us hold steadfast to the truth found in Psalm 69 verse 14. Though we may encounter life's deep waters, God's mercy remains our anchor. He hears our cries for help and responds with an outpouring of love that surpasses all understanding. His great mercy ensures that we will not be consumed by our struggles, but will emerge strengthened and renewed in spirit. May we always be reminded that in His mercy there is hope, deliverance, and unwavering promise of His eternal presence. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Don't give up, don't say you're done, because God is the answer, and God answers prayers. He sees every weakness, every trial, every mountain and sea, and He sees every teardrop, and He watches. Every trial